Good morning and happy Sunday. Welcome back to the vlog. I've been away. I haven't uploaded in almost two months and I just uploaded my Oregon road trip which was about a month ago. So yeah, I've been MIA. I did say I was gonna go on a hiatus and I thought I would pick up vlogging right when I got back from Oregon but just so much has happened over the past month that I kind of started vlogging here and there, but it was all over the place and I couldn't make a vlog with all this random footage. So I thought, you know what, let me just recap what has happened over the past month and then dive back into the vlogs. Also, I ordered these peppy gel nails. They're the dipped powder. We're gonna see how it goes. So after I got back from Oregon, I got sick. I don't know if it was the flu or what, but I did not feel good. <laughs> just dying over here and then I had a pretty traumatic experience at work first we started the shift with a code and it wasn't my patient but just crazy and when I say code I mean a code blue and then we ended the shift with a, another code not on the same patient a different patient actually my patient it was quite traumatic she was doing fine all night and she started coughing up blood and all of a sudden she became unresponsive and massive amount of blood just spewed out of her mouth and her nose it was just a waterfall of, of blood everywhere and it just was something that you see in horror movies the hardest part for me and i think for everyone is talking to the family or to loved ones and telling them that their loved one did not make it and then after work I had plans to go to Disney and meet up with the Dis fam. I thought I would arrange a Dis fam baby shower luncheon. Hi! What's in there? Brother or sister? Oh, that's a heavy one. What's that? Is there some books in there? That's what he grabbed for. I was exhausted after that experience at work and then going to Disney right after. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna make a staycation out of it. Welcome back to the Wyndham Grand Orlando Bonnet Creek Resort. This time I upgraded myself. Upgraded to a balcony view. Let's take a look at this. Balcony view and I got this fake grass. Oh, I am coming pool. I am coming for you and drinks over there. I wanna get Based. Dinner is served. Also got myself a bottle of wine. They gave me two glasses, but <laughs> girl, I'm just gonna drink out of this bottle. So I've never opened a bottle of champagne before, and I'm actually really nervous, so I'm gonna try it. <laughs> I did it! Yeah. Not classy at all. Now this. Now this. Also had my second chemical peel, although it was a little bit different this time. I got the peel, but I also had to get steroid injections. The dermatologist came in and injected me with some Kenalog, which is a corticosteroid. Steroids help with inflammation and swelling and irritation, so they're hoping that the steroid shots will help reduce the raised areas that are especially in the front and some in the back. They're just trying to get to the bottom of what this actually is. It's not your typical acne scarring. Still working with the dermatologist to see what's going on with my skin and hopefully we'll get to the bottom of it because I want beautiful skin. Of course, still in school, so always doing homework every week. You know, just party it up in my room because it's Saturday night. Actually, not really. I'm working on school assignments, per usual. One of my favorite lounges, Meisner's Lounge, which is at the Grand Floridian, is being shut down. Well, it's actually being refurbished and rethemed to something completely different. And I like it the way it is, but I know that Disney has to grow, so I want to say goodbye to it one last time. Hello, Grand Floridian and Yellow Monorail. 
So I was sitting here alone at Meisner's, just minding my own business. And look who showed up. At Citrico's, I'm having dinner. Got myself a Purity Martini. Cheers. That's what I wanted. Something light and sweet. We can also taste alcohol. Your girl can eat. And with everything that's been going on, I actually have not been sleeping as much and have not been taking care of myself that I broke out into shingles. Yeah, I got shingles. Like, I still currently have it, but I think it's just kind of the tail end of it. So I've been making sure over the past couple days that I have been doing a lot of self-care. Yes, it's 6.40 in the morning. I've been up since about 3.40 in the morning. I'm watching This Is Us. I'm about to do this magic foot mask, which I've never done before, but I got for Christmas. It's supposed to peel off any dead skin. It works in like two weeks. Ah, I like big, big booties. Mmm. This feels squishy. I'm gonna use this thing. And now leave this on for about an hour to an hour and a half. Then I have some beautiful feet. So yeah, that's what I've been up to this past month. Also, I have a uh, guy friend. Actually, he is officially my boyfriend and yeah, this is news, out of the blue news to pretty much everyone. I actually have not revealed who he is to like social media and I don't plan on it because I'm kind of enjoying just spending time with him and being outside of social media. That's a big thing with me lately actually. I haven't been on social media as much because I've been enjoying life. And it's been really nice. I think it also has to do that my boyfriend is not into social media. He does not have any social media. A lot of things that we're different in, like he's not into Disney, I am, and of course the social media aspect. Like those two things are very, very big in my life. But I don't think couples need to have all the same interests. I think you can like fill each other's gaps in a way. <laughs> sexually too that works bring something to the table for each other so as long as we're open-minded and accepting of each other which we have been should be good and we're doing great honestly and officially together since the start of april and we've been talking to each other for a while now we've actually known each other for over two and a half years but we never pursued each other and then one day we started hanging out and we realized that we really like each other. It was very unexpected and we were very scared in the beginning to catch feelings for each other. But now it's just starting to feel almost natural. Like it's it's still very, we're still in the honeymoon phase, but we are enjoying it. We are in no rush for anything. One day I will introduce him to everyone, meaning you guys and social media and all that stuff. But I'm just not like in a rush to do that. I'm enjoying kind of being secretive. I'm a happy girl. I'm very, very happy. I didn't think I would be happy again like this. And you know, they always say that it's when you least expect it. And that holds very true. Definitely need a lot more work and practice on these peppy gel nails. Brunching it up with this burrata and a side of eggs and this mimosa. It's a frescato mimosa, so it's a little bit frozen, but it's so yummy. And balcony view, so I can people watch at beautiful Dizzy Springs. Did I drive up to Orlando just to have brunch? Yes. Yes, I did. I've been wanting to try the new brunch menu over at Wine Bar George, which is one of my favorite restaurants, if not my favorite restaurant here um, at Disney Springs. And it was delicious. Met all my expectations. And I did get some editing done at Starbucks, but now I am ready to head on home. I am PMSing. My body has not been regulating well ever since I got on birth control and it's just a mess. I've been a mess. My body has been a mess. I was not expecting my period for another week or two, but it surprised me this morning. I'm just not in the mood. I'm actually in some type of mood. <laughs>
I need to go home and take a nap or something. Yeah. A nap was much needed. I feel like myself again and not like this angry, I don't know, witch. I was talking to my boyfriend. I think I scared him a little bit because everything he was saying to me, I was just angry at him. And I was like, I, I need to like pull myself away. But I'm home now and I'm going to get rid of these nails because... They ain't cute. They're so not cute that they won't even focus on camera. I only got a little bit of nail polish remover left. Got foils and these cotton pads ready to go. Cherry, can you help me? What? With my nails. Okay, so what do you think about my nails? <laughs> How gross are they? They're pretty puffy. What are you trying to do? Gel dip nails, powder nails. I need to get it removed, so what I'm gonna do is to get rid of this gel. I'm yeah. gonna saturate the cotton pad, put this over it, and then put the foil. foil. You want oh. me to wrap your fingers? Yeah. Okay. Does that work? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> your fingers are so squishy. <laughs> I should go scare Kiwi. That wouldn't scare her. Yeah. You know that. that would just be like weirded out, but. But that's just that's, a normal. Yeah. That's nothing that's new. Normal. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> Ooh. Trying to get rid of my gel nails because they look puffy and gross. <laughs> Nail polish remover helped out a little. <laughs> the cotton pad won't come off, it's like stuck to my nail. <laughs> and I ran out of nail polish remover, and so <laughs> I just have cottony furry fingernails. Cherry! What? It won't come off. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot furry nails. <laughs> I don't have any more nail wash remover! <laughs> what do I do? Did you wash your hands? It won't do anything. Did you, did you try? <laughs> it's gonna just make it wet. And then easier to remove. <laughs> no it's not, it's just gonna be wet. Look, it's still stuck. Do you want me to see if mommy has any nail wash remover? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I just have wet furry nails. <laughs> All right, I think this may work. This big bottle of acetone. <laughs> now these nails are much, much better. You know, girls look so fabulous with like the top knot. I don't. <laughs> it's a tiny little thing because I know I have very long hair, but I don't have much hair actually. I have very, very thin hair. So every time I try to do like a top knot thing, it doesn't look good. I feel like, I think her name is Pepper from American Horror Story. Yeah, that's how I feel. So it's been a few days since I did the feet mask and oh, it is gloriously crusty. It doesn't look much from afar, but up close, I'm gonna have crusty ass feet for the next couple of days. Beautiful. Anyway, it is the end of the week, so I am going to end the vlog here. I know it's more like a recap of what I did in the last month, but I think it was a good way to restart back up the vlogs. Now, I know in the beginning of the year, I said that I was gonna change up the vlogs and make it a little bit more personable, more fun, try to be a bit more consistent. Yeah, I don't know. That was my goal, but Things have changed. Like I said, I've just been living in the moment and enjoying it. That said, I don't think I'll be able to keep up with weekly vlogs, but I will continue to vlog like here and there. And then I'll put all the footage together to make one vlog. So instead of weekly vlogs, it's just going to be a vlog over the span of a few weeks, I guess, which I used to do. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not ready to end the vlogs yet but it's definitely going to change a little bit i will see you guys in the next vlog thanks for watching bye